young researcher of the ALGA, is uh, Hiki Histe from IMPA, and he will speak on oscillating projections and secant defects. Thank you, the organizers, for letting me speak here. First, I like to work here. Everything I will say is, uh, is over C. I like to work over C. Uh, first, uh, this is a joint project with my advisor, Carolina Araújo, and my co-advisor, Alex Massarenti. And first, I will explain what these uh, second, second defects are. Uh, so, the second variety of uh, projective variety X is the union of several uh, linear spaces intersecting uh, X. Uh, the second variety, the age second variety of X, to construct you take age points of X, make the age minus one plane passing through them, then vary for all the choices of uh, age points, uh, make the union, take the closure with this, this is the second variety. Uh, for instance, the first second variety is X. The second one, is, uh, it's uh, the more no one. It's the second of lines. You take all lines through two points. Uh, if e it can be the uh, dimension count to count the expected dimension of this variety. Uh, and this count will give us an age plus age minus one. If this uh, second is not spec to fill up the entire space. For instance, if you have a surface in P3, the second of lines is, uh, is going to fill up the entire space, uh, and a uh, non degenerate surface. So to count this spec dimension, you have to take this in account. So, uh, not all varieties has the second variety with the expected dimension. Uh, but most of them are, uh, should have. The ones that not have this expected dimension are called the second defective. Or if you spec specify the age, age defective. Uh, so one can want to classify, classify all second varieties, for instance. Uh, if you do some work, you you happily see that curves and hypersurfaces are not defective. Uh, defective surfaces were classified by Terracini and the, the uh, beginning of the century. Uh, and threefolds defective are, were classified by Cantini and Siliberto in 2003. And this is an example of defective variety. If you consider the Veronese surface in P5, this example was given by Rodrigo uh, yesterday or the day before. Uh, so the, sec the Veronese surface in P5, you can see it as the matrix of rank one, and the first second, the, sorry, the second second, you can see as matrices of rank one or two. Then the sector of X is a hypersurface in P5, but its suspect dimension is five. Then this is a two defect variety, or just a defect variety. Okay. So this problem of classified defect variety is very complicated. Uh, it's only now up to three folds completely. So it's not a, a realistic uh, thing is spec to classify all of them uh, for the time being. What uh, the people do is try try to do this in some classes of variety, some very uh, few classes. Uh, the varieties who uh, which parameterize uh, tensors are important to, in, in this. In this study. For instance, the Grassmannian. I always will consider the Grassmannian embedded by the Plucker embedding. So, uh, in my notation, zero, uh, G0N is projective uh, space. Okay. Um, so, 
and uh, the gross money parameter is uh, totally decomposable tensors, and its second parameter is uh, the uh, tensor which can be decomposed in up to age, uh, a sum of up to age tensors. So the question is, uh, for each triples, R and age is this Grassmannian age defective. Uh, it's well known that uh, the Grassmannian offlines in PN, it's almost always defective. And if R is at least true, there is some conjecture about what ones are defective. Uh, this conjecture, it's it's no four uh, cases where the where this Grassmannian is defective. And the conjecture is these the, are the only ones. Uh, but there is, uh, we are in the, the people are in the beginning of the study of this, this the, there are not a lot of uh, work on this. What, uh, what we have is the Grassmannian of planes in PN. It's a work done by Abu, Otaviani, and Peterson. They almost uh, completed uh, this case. Uh, and the same paper, they give a bound, that bound age uh, at most R minus, uh, N minus R over three plus one, for which uh, second age of the Grassmannian GRN is, has the expected dimension. So there is this bound. Uh, and also, there is a, a work of Ada Boralevi, which uh, tell us that th that conjecture is true up to age 12. Uh, so, um, this bound, sorry, this bound is linear on N, you can see. Um, but in this work, they, uh, they are able to give a bound on N squared going with n square. And in this way, they almost close this case, plain, plain case. And, but in the general case, this is the bad, better bound known. Uh, what we did is uh, give a new bound which grows uh, polynomially with n. Then our bound is better than the, the one before, for r uh, at least four. Uh, our theorem is this one. Our bound is, this is a simplified version. Uh, uh, the complete version is, uh, is quite tricky. But uh, here is this number. When you fix R, this is go, goes with N, and this goes some polynomial with N. If you put R equals four, this goes uh, with N squared, and so on. This is a very, uh, the growth of this is very uh, short, it's very small, but it, it's polynomial. Uh, so how we did this? We used the tangential variety, the, sorry, the tangential pro projection. The tangential projection, we can use uh, this result of uh, Cantini Siliberto, who says that if you take a lot of tangent spaces in general points, take the span of them, and consider the projection from it. Now, if this map is generically finite, then you have that x is not age plus one defect, where age is the number of, po of general points you took. So this, uh, age tangential projections are a way to, to claim that your variety is not defective. But this, this is a problem uh, to apply this theorem because when age uh, grows, you are considered more points and these projections are become more complicated to deal with. And so would be better to try to pass through the, uh, from this to another, uh, another information with less points, so a more simple rational map. This is what we did. What we did was the following. Uh, 
for instance, suppose we want to uh, prove that X is not, uh, don't know, for defective. So you have to consider the tangential projection from three points. You have to prove this is generically finite. And apply Cantin uh, Silibert. So, but we didn't prove this uh, directly. What we did was consider these three tangent spaces. and take the span of them, call it T, and degenerate this space T, this linear space, to another space, uh, T prime. And so degenerate this projection, uh, pi T, to another projection, pi T prime. Uh, if this one is generically finite, then this one is generically finite. And then the projection from these three uh, spaces, I'm oh, sorry, it, this is the already the tangential projection. Uh, okay, you can do a little more. For instance, if you prove this and Instead, take a, a bigger one. You can degenerate T and T prime, say, which is containing T prime prime. And if you, if you prove that the projection from T prime prime is generically finite, this another projection from T prime is also, because it's a smaller space. And then and this is as well, which is that one. This is the span. This is okay, this is this method. Uh, but you should have a, a good candidate for this T prime prime. And our candidate is this, uh, the osculating space of the variety X. For each project variety, I will test this slide. Uh, for each project variety X and a uh, smooth point P, consider a local parametrization and uh, all the derivatives, uh, the partial derivatives up to order, order M. And all of them is going to generate a, a thin space. Then take the project closer, closure. You're going to have. Uh, this is degenerate. You're going to have some linear space. This space is called the M osculating space of X at the point P. Uh, so the osculating space of order zero is the point, of order one is the tangent space, and the other ones are some linear spaces from the, this chain. Okay. So uh, in that example, the general, the, a good candidate here is this, is T3. T3, for instance. It's not T2. Because uh, the tangent space is, is related to the point with multiplicity 2. Then when you degenerate two tangent spaces, the expected uh, limit is something inside uh, the point with multiplicity 4. So the oscillate space of uh, order 3. Uh, so in the next slide, I'm going to formalize that idea. That idea is for a general variety. Recall that uh, I showed here this theorem, but uh, this follows directly from, uh, directly not, but Falls from a general method we develop. That one I explained to you. Uh, so that's a general, and this is the, the, the formalization of that idea. 
uh, X is said to have M osculator regularity if the following holds. Take M general points and an integer K if there are curves connecting P. P1, let me write down. In this example, here's the P. Uh, in this example, you have to have three, uh, two curves, gamma two and gamma three. Uh, the two are parameterized by the same uh, abstractor, abstract curve. So you form the family of linear spaces. The span of TP1, T gamma two, T one, T gamma three, T one. You form this family in such a way that, and you take the curves in such a way that in some time T zero, they all are here and, and another time T infinity, they all are in the, the respective points. Uh, so what you want is that the limit of this family is contained in the right osculating space, T3P. Here my t prime is T0. Uh, the general definition is that one. You just take a, a M points and instead one key. Okay. okay. It's the last one. And so with this definition, we can show the general term. Is that one, it's kind of ugly, but give us the result. You have to have M osculate regularity and prove that some general osculating projection is generically finite. And then you have a, that X is not H plus one defect for that H. And this is the reference, and this is it. Thank you.